I'm building an automated to-do list template that is going to be pretty awesome. Here are a few things we're going to do. We're going to make sure it looks nice. We're going to make sure it has the exact items that we want to be writing. We want to insert a checkbox. And this is what you normally do, right? You have a task. We're going to write a to-do list. And then if it's done, we check it off, right? But we want to automate this. We want to absolutely make this the coolest, most automated thing ever. So one of the first things we're going to do is open our app script and we're going to just start automating. We are going to need some on edit automations. These are automations that happen when we edit something. So if we click, say this checkbox, we change it from false to true. We want a timestamp. So let's do that first. Then we will automate writing in a task and adding a check. So first off, let's name this to do list code. Our function that we're going to use is going to be called on edit. And we're going to use an event here that we're going to know what that event is. We can get things like the row variable event dot range, not range, range dot get row. We can also get the column. We'll call it call, just a short version, event dot range dot get column. And so now we know every time there's an edit, what is where it is. We also can find out what the edit value is. Edit value, meaning what is it editing to? Go event dot value, I think it is. Not edit value, just value. Then let's say we want to gatekeep this on edit and we only want to take some action once we know certain things are happening. We want to automate this timestamp. So the timestamp is actually just timestamp equals new date. We can format this if we want to, but for right now, we're just going to get the original whatever time is on our computer right now. And we're going to need to know when should we be editing this or adding this timestamp. We want to know that the row is greater than one, which means it's not the header row that we're editing. We also, using the double ampersand, we also want to make sure the column is equal to one. That is because over here on our list, the A column or first column has the checkboxes. The last thing we want to make sure is that the actual edit value is true. So you can do true. And now, once that is all true, meaning if the row is above one, greater than one, the column that we're editing is one, and we're changing from false to true only, not true to false, sort of undone. But these are marking done. We're, we're marking done. So we want to insert a timestamp. Where do we want to insert the timestamp? We'll go to spreadsheet app dot get active sheet, whatever sheet we're on. We will then get the range. The range is going to be the row we're on. The column will be actually three because we want to insert the, the timestamp in the C column. We don't want anything else. We'll actually delete all the other stuff here. And we also, we can put this extra one in one, which just means it's one row, one column size. And then we're going to set the value, set value of timestamp. I'm going to hit save, command S, or we can run, hit this button up here next to run, which is save project. Okay, now this is already checked. Let's check off this one done and we may have some errors so let's go view those see if it's not saved it is completing it so definitely something's wrong here in order to see what we're let's look at logger.log row and it might be this true actually i think we need true so let's check those and we can check it again and see we get a date we get time actually the whole timestamp function there just because it's this in quotes true now the next thing we wanted to automate is we don't want to be adding our checkboxes we just want to add a task and have a checkbox added there we didn't use this exact same syntax if row is greater than one and column is actually two and we want to make sure that the old value is blank so we don't want to be adding a check if we're editing something so we want the old value which is going to be variable old equals event dot old. I think it's going to be dot old value. Yes, yeah, so we want old is equal to blank, but actually we want null here, not blank, null, because we want it to be actually nothing. So if the column is the second column, and if it's not the header row, and we want the a checkbox here. So instead of column three, column one, insert checkboxes. So let's see if this, we save it, make sure that orange goes away and add a check. There we go. We've added a checkbox and now we can hit that's done and we have a timestamp when it's done. One more thing we want to automate is that when we delete a task, we want the date and the checkbox to be undone. So let's see what we can do. We know 
we have this syntax here. So instead of old being null, we actually want our edit value to be null, meaning we're deleting everything in there. So we don't want to insert checkboxes. We want to set, actually delete clear data validations of the first one. And we want to set the value to nothing. Basically, we're getting rid of that set value, basically getting rid of that checkbox. But we also want to do this for the third column, right? Instead of row and one, we have row and three, and we set that to nothing as well. Actually, we can set that value, I think, to null. Let's try null. Save. So anytime we delete an item, there we go. So we want to add a task. So we'll add the checkbox. We'll click it done. And then if we want to delete a task, we add this task, that sounds weird. We click it done, but then we delete it and everything goes away. So that's pretty cool. Automatic, automating these to-do lists to go away as well. So we want to also add some cool automations like let's send a daily email that ends up telling us what is the next item or the first item on this list. So first item, second item. Item. So we have two items, one of them, both of them are unchecked, and we just want like a daily <coughs> email that whatever is our very top thing on the list, let us know what that is. We have to do a few things. We can write the function, so we need to email every day. Actually, we just want to write email top task. We want to write this function. Then we also want to create a function that creates a trigger. So we'll say email every day, and we'll write this as well after we test this email. Mail, we'll use Gmail app. We will send email, and we're going to send our email to someone. We're going to have a subject, and we're going to have a body of the text. We need these as variables, so variable two is equal to, let's just get the owner of the sheet for now, session, actually, spreadsheet app dot get active get active spreadsheet dot get owner dot get email again this is something we can actually put a text in here if we want but this gives us the ability to give this app script to someone else so that they can set it up and it does they don't have to change their email address it's whoever is the owner of the spreadsheet is going to get these emails we're going to give a subject should be top task we also want to make sure that we know what day it is, so we'll add plus new date. So we'll add that timestamp there. We can format this as well. Actually, we'll go utilities dot format date. We will say it's GMT, and we will set it as just um, day, month, year. So that's it. What are we going to send in our body? So our body is going to be just text. We're not going to use HTML. Actually, we could use a little bit of HTML here if we wanted to make it look nice, but we just want to add some text. Your top task today is, and then add top task. So how do we get ta top task? Let's write another function, get top task, and let's do that here. So the result of this function variable top task equals get top task, and we want to return top task. So what do we do? Well, we want to go to spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. We can get the sheet by name. We could also, yeah, we can call this tasks. Let's do that. Or items, to-do list items. Get sheet by name, tasks dot get range. We're going to get B, no, A2 colon A, get values. This will be tasks. Actually, it'll be checkboxes, sorry. And we were going to look for the first false one. So there's three options that we have. We have true, false, and then null. So if we look at this, we can do logger.log boxes. It's just going to be an array. So let's run this, get top task. We will have to authorize this. And see, it is just an array. We're just looking for the top false one. We go for, check for, I, we'll do a little for loop i equals zero, i is less than check dot length, i plus, and for if, if checkboxes i is equal to false, then return, not checkboxes, but actually we want to do this for tasks. We want to get the exact same row in tasks too. So we'll just get the name of it. So we'll get turn tasks i zero. So let's run this and see if we get any errors. Oh, we probably need want to log this. Logger.log and we don't need to log the check now. So we're just going to get the top task. Ah, here we go. We just added this bracket notation zero to make sure we actually get the item in there. And we did. We got the first item. We actually got everything. So we don't want everything. We just want the first one. So we'll break here. 
Actually, I don't even think we have to do the break. We just return it. So we'll just return and that will be the break because it will execute something and be done. So if we do something like get top task here, it will just return the top one. Let's double check that though. We'll actually double check it when we run this. So we have our email. We're getting our email from the owner. We're gonna send a top task with the date and our top task is this. So let's run this email top task. Check it that it's running and here we go. Your top task today is first item. Fantastic, actually is it? Yeah, it is. So let's run it again. I've checked off first item, there it is. Our top task is second item, perfect. So we are now able to send at any moment the top task. If there is no task, it will probably just not send. Let's, it'll probably just have something. Let's see what that does. Actually, it says undefined. So let's make sure in our code, we have a fallback here. So if it's else, we will write return no tasks left undone. So we get to email top task. Let's run it again. And now we get an email that says no tasks left undone. Perfect. We want to add something else to this body. This body says your top task is this. Let's add a few more in pieces of information. We'll do plus and then we'll do slash n a couple times for a new line. Also add the URL of the sheet that we're using. Variable URL equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get URL. We're going to make sure that we have a link in this email to this URL of the spreadsheet so we know where we're going to go. Can we actually fix it? Can we actually do the task? And then we need to run an email every day, but we don't want to have the user go over here to triggers, add trigger. We want to be able to trigger it from somewhere on this sheet. So we're going to create a little menu up here. It's as it's much easier than you ever think. We'll just go to bettersheets.co slash snippets, grab the top one. It'll be on open. You'll say custom menu. We'll literally just copy this code here. Function on open. We'll come back to our code and above our function all the way at the top. We'll have on open. We have, we'll call this automation automation menu. Our first item is going to be called actually to the user. We'll say set up an email every day for top undone for top task. We'll call this email every day. This function here will create, will run this function. We may want to send a test email. So we want to say send test email, which will run email top task. It'll just run this one right here. And this menu is going to be basically right here next to help to the right of help, but it will only happen when it's opened. So right now it doesn't show it. Even if we saved it, we'll have to refresh it. But we want to write this email every day function. This is going to be spreadsheet app. Actually, it's going to be script app dot new trigger. The trigger that we're going to put into the text here is the function we want to run. So it'll be email top task. It'll be time based. We want to do every days one day at hour. And this is going to be a number. It's going to be a number from zero to 23. If it's zero, it will run between midnight and one. If it's one, it'll be 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. If it's two, it'll be run from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. So this task that we want to email, we want to do it like around five, six, seven a.m. So it's in our inbox like before we start work. So let's just do a five and we want to create it. Now let's test this. I'm going to run this email every day function. I'm going to run it from here. I'm going to make sure it's saved. I'm going to click run, see if we have any issues. We're going to make sure we have the correct authorizations before we do it and see if we get any errors. Worked okay. Looks like it. We go over to triggers and do we have a trigger? Yes, we do. Let's edit this and see what has happened. So we've chosen which function to run email top task. It's time driven day timer, 5 AM to 6 AM. Perfect. That's it. That's all we need to do to automate this email. We can do a couple more things. Like we may want to delete this trigger at some point. So let's automate that as well, or at least allow someone to delete this trigger. So we want to say function delete email trigger. Here, we're going to add it to our open menu. We're going to add item, just copy it, and then delete daily email. Or not delete, stop daily email. And we're going to call this delete email trigger. So how do we find this? We do script app dot 
it's not find triggers, get project triggers. And here, we're, this is going to return a list of all of the triggers. So we wanna iterate through it. So we're gonna go triggers, variable triggers equals, and we're gonna say four i equals zero. I is less than triggers dot link. We are going to add another I plus. And here for each one, if triggers zero, or not zero i dot get event hand get not event handler handler function is equal to the email top task so if we create an email top task variable then we want to delete that so we go to trigger triggers i dot actually not delete sorry we do script app dot delete trigger and inside of here we call the triggers there we go so in making sure that we're getting the right function and once we find that function delete that trigger no matter whatever other triggers there are, we can now email top task, no, email every day. We're gonna create that trigger. So we can again look over here at triggers and see, is there an event? Yep, there is a trigger. Go back to our editor. Now we're going to choose to run the delete email trigger. Run, see if we have any errors. We don't have any errors, but do we have any triggers? We have no triggers, so we have successfully deleted it. So now let's close our app script. Let's go back and refresh our sheet so now we have up at the top automation menu. We have three things. We can set up an email that every day is going to send us the top task we have yet to do. We can also send that test email and we can also stop those daily emails without having to touch the app script. So this in and of itself is a totally automated checklist. We can start adding, add another task, one more. There it is, our checkboxes are added. Checkbox added, question mark. Yes, the checkbox is added. Check it off, we are done. Now we wanna send an email and make sure that we get an email of our top task every day. We can do that. Isn't that awesome? We are now automating our to-do list. If you wanna add any more automations to this to-do list template, let me know. Comment down below any suggestions you have. I'm happy to hear them out. Also, if you are a Better Sheets member and watching this on YouTube, go over to bettersheets.co. You can get this exact spreadsheet there for free. Every single spreadsheet I feature in a video that I make, it's available to members for free once you become a member. If you're not a member yet, become a member today. You get all sorts of cool, deep courses on App Script. We go way deeper. You can get a new job, get better at your job, or even automate your job away. Any way you do it, let's make better Google Sheets.